This video, sponsored by Skillshare.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Texter 1. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 60 frames per second. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the background, and using a dark grey color for it. You are free to use any color you want. And then hit OK. Now we are going to add our text layer. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing tool, and then align your text into the center. By the way, you can download this font, from the link in the description. Let's add some animation to it. Expand your text layer, and here you will find this animate button. Click on it and select the scale. Let's add another property on it. Click on this add button, go to the property, and this time select the rotation. We will use these properties, to add a custom animation on our text layer. Now go to the 1 second position, and then add a keyframe on scale, as well as on the rotation. Now go to the first frame, and change the scale value to 0%. Also, change the rotation value to 180 degrees. Check the animation, and this is how the text looks now. Not bad. Let's select all keyframes, and easy ease them, by pressing the F9 key. Open graph editor, and in case your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select the keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how the text looks now. Cool. Before moving to the next step, thanks to Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community, with more than 20,000 classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. Premium membership, is less than $10 a month. And it gives you unlimited access. Learn collaborate, or even teach a class by your own. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the best option for you. Skillshare teamed up with Adobe to create exclusive online classes, showcasing the possibilities of Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is a brand new drawing and painting app, with the most advanced brushes in the world with a modern experience that balances with powerful tools. It's free to download for iPad. It's a perfect app for artists, illustrators, animators, sketchers, and anyone who wants to discover, or rediscover the joy of drawing and painting. You can check this digital illustrative typography class on Skillshare, using Adobe Fresco from start to finish. Visit the link from the description below, and get 2 months of premium for free. Let's move to the next step. Minimize this layer to get some room. Now select it. And make 3 more duplicates of it. Select the bottom layer, and change its color to something else. I am changing the color of all 3 text layers, except for the top layer. Of course, you are free to use any color you want. Now zoom in onto the timeline, by pressing the equal key on your keyboard, until you see the two frames distance. Then grab the motion to layer, and place the starting point at the fourth frame. Select the motion 3 layer, and place its starting point, at eighth frame. Do the same with the motion 4 layer as well. Cool. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. We are almost there. Let's add some motion blur to it. 
In case this switch tab is not available here, then right click on it, go to the columns, and choose switches. Now turn on the motion blur for all the text layers, and if required, click here to activate it. As you can see, the motion blur is not looking much attractive. So let's fix it. Go to the composition, and click on composition setting. A new window will appear. Here click on the advanced. Your shutter angle will be 180 degrees by default. All we need to do, increase the shutter angle value of it. So I am keeping a value of 500 degrees. Hit OK, and the motion blur will be much better. Cool. Let's make the animation out. Go to around 2 second position. And then select all text layers. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it text 01, and then hit OK. Now press the Ctrl, Shift D, to split this layer, and delete the top layer. Select this text 01 layer, and make a duplicate of it. Then right click on it, go to the time, and choose time reverse layer. It will reverse the animation of this text layer. Now drag the top layer to the right, and make sure, the edges of both layers, align to each other. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's move to the next step. I am going to trim out the composition duration, so go to the end position of your layers. In my case, it is 4 second. Press N, to set the work area end. Now right click on it, and choose Trim Comp to work area. Your composition will become 4 seconds longer. Let's select both the text layers once again, and pre-compose them. I am calling it text 0 one time. And then hit OK. Now make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and rename it as the text time reflection. I am going to use it as the reflection of our text layer. Let's import the texture image in our project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it, at the bottom of all layers. Select the time reflection layer, and make it 3D by clicking on this 3D icon. Now open rotation, by pressing the R key. And change the X rotation value to negative 89. Then use the shift plus down arrow key, to place it at this position. Cool. Let's change the rotation value to 89, instead of negative 89. Now select this layer once again, go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the compound blur. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the blur layer to the texture layer. Now change the maximum blur value to 100. I am not able to see the reflection now. So let's change the rotation value to 76 degrees, to make the reflection looks bigger, and then change the maximum blur value to 200. Cool. Let's add some glow on it. Create a new adjustment layer. And place it on top of all layers. I am calling it glow. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. You can also go with the default setting of this glow. But I will quickly do a few changes. Let's change the glow radius value to 5, and glow intensity value to 0.5. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and sayonara. <laughs>